Today's video topic is Is crying good for your skin? We have all heard that crying cleans out your eyes at some point in our childhood, which is to some extent medically true. However, excessive crying is not good at all. Many people also have a question in mind if it is good for their skin too. Aside from a profound emotional effect, certain individuals even feel that their skin begins to glow and turns out more radiant in the wake of crying tears. Yet, have you at any point contemplated why your skin acts in such a manner? Indeed, this is on the grounds that the blood vessels on your face widen and cause an increase in blood flow. In any case, in long haul, crying can harm your skin. It prompts skin parchedness and dehydration or slight irritation because of pH contrasts. Consistently, we open ourselves to several circumstances, including where we all experience the ill effects of misery, dissatisfactions, stress, misfortune, and so forth that influence us to such a degree, we wind up bawling madly and crying tears. A decent cry can feel as if a load has lifted up your body. Yet what about the stippled skin and puffy red eyes you're left with? One justification behind this is that tears are isotonic, that is the pH is near normal saline utilized in intravenous IV fluid preparations, which is higher than that of your skin. Tears generally have pH close to 7, and skin is nearer to 5.5 or 6. Along these lines, while occasional exposure to tears isn't destructive, however, long-time exposure could cause changes in the skin hydration or irritation because of pH contrast. Rubbing your eyes or utilizing specific tissues or cloth to wipe your face can leave an impact on your skin, obscure the skin, lead to inflammation, and even aggravate inflammation in face acnes at times. Crying washes away the healthy dampness from your skin and subsequently it turns out to be more defenseless against irritants there are in the environment. For example, sunburn, allergens, and contaminated air. It turns out to be more inclined to skin inflammation, breakouts. Over-the-top crying can likewise prompt the breaking of your blood vessels. Then there's that marked post-cry puffiness. Whenever you cry, a flood of tears can gather in the delicate tissue around the eyes, and blood vessels in that space widen thanks to the increased blood flow in that area, leading to redness and puffiness. How can you take care of your skin after a crying session? Despite how frequently you let your tears stream, focusing on the skin care under and around your eyes during and in the wake of crying can have an undeniably important effect in how your skin responds. Apply a cream to your face very gently. Ideally, one that contains ceramides, squalene, or hyaluric acid mixtures. This can assist with recharging hydration and diminish irritation, fix the skin barrier that was upset by tears and grating issues. Concerning healing your eye region, eye creams with caffeine and calendula can assist with shrinking the dilation. Getting satisfactory rest and sleep, plus overseeing and managing pressure, are key to healing the skin under your eyes. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.